I have a question for Mr. Lambert concerning uh, training with Douglas. So, from your recollection, what was the hardest lesson that you learned while training under Douglas? Like the one that pushed you to your limits? Um, probably to impress him. Probably to impress him. You know, that it, it, it was so important to me to be there every second. That I, I wanted him to always think of me. So I always tried my hardest. I always took a lot of abuse. And I was always there to learn. Like, like Doug said, the hardest part was the training, the workouts. And Doug was always impressed when you consistently went to those hard workouts, consistently. And him giving me things, whatever he gave me, uh, you, you know, when I was a kid, I was a skinny runt. And I didn't know what I was or who I was. And when I started taking Kung Fu, I started to realize things and, and people like him took notice. And I would win something. I never won anything per se. And being invited back, that gave me, you know, uh, those were, they were all uh, some of the best things Doug ever gave me, you know, the knowledge. You know, I would say in a, in a lot of ways, the understanding and the knowledge on how to teach is a big part of my career as a stunt coordinator, as a fight coordinator, as a second unit director. It's very important to understand how to teach. You know, saying do this, do this is easy. What, when people really respect you is you show him or them or she how to do it. That's when they really respect it. Not telling them, they respect you more when you show them. I always had that in my mind is to show. So many people don't understand. So many actors, stunt guys will get, well, you want me to do it, but you know, I don't see you doing it. Well, let me show you and I would do it. You know, the, the mental end, when it came to the movie business was the most important because you got to understand you're head of a department and you're dealing with many heads behind camera and in front of camera. And there's a lot of, you know, psychoanalyzing a lot of people. And you have to change, you know, my personality is one way. There's a hot and there's a cold, there's no middle. But I learned to go to that middle through Doug, through understanding, through teacher. There's a thousand different personalities on a movie set. And some are more powerful, some are less powerful. But you have to work with everybody and there's a there's a situation with each one of them where either you have to tread lightly or take command. The flip side of uh, Damien's question, Doug, what was the most challenging and difficult thing about training uh, Steven? <laughs> Hard headedness. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was a good student. He was dedicated. That is one of the true things about it. Uh, but, you know, there's many people that came under the training that just couldn't take it. They just left. I mean, it just defeated them. I mean, my type of training it, um, is hell. A lot of my guys went to boot camp training. It was a breeze compared to what we did. They walk through it, they were top students. I have guys in the Marine Corps, special, uh, everything. They went through it all. They were self-defense instructor, LAPD and all that. All the training they went through was nothing compared to what I put them through. So they, they had to suffer mentally and physically. So Amen. there's a lot of mental abuse, yelling, screaming at them. <laughs> no, that's not right. Even though it was right, I tell them it was wrong. <laughs> but I was trying to build up their character to be prepared for life. So yes, Steve was one of the few guys that stuck with me. Thank you.